Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an update query that will automatically change the stock value levels based on what you enter through a form. So let's have a quick look at products table. So you've got a list of stock quantities. So when I buy one of these, I want this to reduce. And that's what the query is going to do. Close that. I'll go to the form. This is a form that I'm going to do that on. So what you've got here is when I do a new record and enter that quantity, I want that quantity to be taken off the stock level. So what I need to do is create a query that's going to look at this form. Now, if I go and create a query in design and bring across the products table, and what I need to change is the stock quantity and I need to change this query to an update query. So you just get slightly different rows. And then in here, I need to do a, or use the expression builder to build up my formula. So I'll click on that. So what I want this to be, I want the stock level. So if I go to date tables, so products, stock quantity, minus the form, so go to forms, all loaded forms, I'll go on forms, invoice, quantity. So the stock table quantity minus whatever goes in that form. So click OK to that, that's what I want. Now if I run that query at the moment, it's going to update all the records based on whatever I enter in that form. I only want it to update the quantity. So what I need to do now is come into here, product ID, product ID, and then the criteria line, I click on there. This needs another expression builder. Basically, it needs to say, open this up, if the product, only do it if the product ID is equal to the product ID on the form. So if the product ID is equal to the product ID on the form, then do this formula. So I'll click OK to that, and that drops that in there. Now that's what I want. Now what I want to do also is automate that process, so I need to attach a macro that does this. So I'm just going to save this as update stock, QRY update stock. That's what that's going to do. And now I need to create a macro that's going to open that. And then I'm going to attach that macro to this field. So create macro. It's just going to be an open macro. We'll drop that down. Don't want that one. Open, not macro, open query. And then select the query you want which is this one, update stock. That's all that needs to be. Save the macro, call it MCR update, which is going to run that query. Click OK and close this down. Come back to your form. Now I need to attach that macro to this field. So go into design on this field. Click on quantities and you've got one already on there. But I want this one, macro update. After update, I want that to run. And it will tell me when I do that. So if I save this, and then have a look at the form. Let's just go to form design, and then have a look. So that's the form. Now let's just have a look at the table, see what the stock levels are. So at the moment, the stock levels are all on 20. So if I close that down, create a new record. So my invoice number, as it says there, next invoice number is 12. Customer ID, I'll go for myself. Product ID, Excel, and quantity 2. Now it's going to run the query as soon as I click off this. It's running an update query. Yes. It's updating one row. Yes. And then I can put today's date in there. And then just close this down. Have a look at the products table. And you can see that only 
the Excel one has been updated. So if I do that again, and this time I'll do it for a different product, so open that, new, so next invoice number is 13, customer ID, I'll pick somebody else, Chris Jones, don't think he's bought much, access, I'll buy five of those, it's going to run the query, yes, it's only doing one row, yes, then put today's date in, and close the uh, form, have a look at the table, so access has gone down to 15, so that's basically how you create a, an update query, first of all, and then how you can link that to an input on a form that will then adjust your stock levels. So hopefully that little video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.